What's going on, Zoomsters, and welcome back to a brand new episode on the channel. And guess what? We have some cool rewards to claim right here. We got some gems and we got some energy as well. So why not start the episode off with this? And finally, we get our restock of gems, I guess, which is going to come in very handy. And how much energy do we actually have at the moment? Hold on a second. 136. Now well, that's awesome right there. And since we have some gems, let's go for the Mesa Treasures because you can get a pretty solid grand price here of some card packs. And we've gotten a lot of them. You know, we got to actually complete a set of cards, right? Because we haven't exactly done that yet. And since the guards probably won't cost that many gems to pay up, I guess, because the grand prize isn't that crazy as a whole, I'm pretty sure that we should be okay just going as far as we possibly could and just see what happens. So let's go, you know? And maybe we get some good uh, card packs here because we just got one right now and we're looking for card packs. Like, that's it. That's all we need because the Maze of Treasures is most likely the best way to actually get these. All right, please. No, why? Why, though? Five tokens? That could have been a silver card pack. But again, the rewards don't all have to be of the same value. There's going to be something better than something else here. And that's just how it works, all right? It's, it's okay. I mean, it's it's completely like probability based. Like, there's there's no way to know what you're gonna get. So at this point, you can't really be angry if a guard appears or whatever. It is what it is. All right, there you go. Good stuff. Door number nine. Please be something good. Door number nine, like a card pack, because I'm pretty sure they could appear here. Come on. No, that is not a card pack. But how much is this? 78 gems. Whatever, man. Take the gems. Leave me alone. And let's get the card packs, because we have one, which is not elite. It's not that good. And neither is this. I'm pretty sure that could have actually been a good card pack, though. Please. Yeah, it could have been a gold one. Man. Come on. All right. I'm pretty sure from now on, we're going to be able to get card packs from the actual doors like this, you know, for example. Okay, it wasn't in this, but maybe in this one, though. Yeah, I don't know about that. That's not a card pack, but whatever. Take the gems. We have a lot of them. All right, Zoopsters. We got to see what happens here. All right. No more guards. Are you serious right now? 371. Really? This is insane. In the past five doors, there have been three guards or something like that. This, this is not okay. Like this is not this is not a nice thing to see at all. But so far, fine, man. We're gonna continue anyways. It's okay. Alright, please. Yes! Yes! We got a card pack! Finally, and it's a good one too, it's the legendary card pack. I don't know exactly how- oh! oh, we got a card pack, another one, and it's very, very good. Yes, sir! But they're not the same as you can see, you know, they kind of fit in different categories, you know, they don't just stack up, which is kind of weird. Alright, two doors so far from 15 to 20, which is very good because now guards will cost like 700 gems or something. Hey, wait a second. How much is this? Oh, 371. Okay, we're chilling. We can, we can finish this. There you go. And we got uh, one of them gold crates, which you can only find at the end. I mean, fair enough. Whatever. Take the gems, man. Take the gems. Doesn't even matter at this point. Take the gems. It's all worth it because we got these cool card packs and you can't really get them in other places all that easily. All right. Nice. That couldn't even have been a card pack, so we're good. Please be the black one and... No, that's not the black card pack. No, is that the worst thing possible? Eh, not really, I guess. Could have been the coins, though. All right, let's see what happens, though. We got Yara. Some uh, coins here, please. There you go. Good, good. Uh, as long as it's a new card pack, you can't go wrong. And what is this? I see. It's uh, it's not that good. Like the bronze one was better than this. Something's off about this. Yeah, I don't know about this, man. Okay, it's just a one-star card. Zubas, Z Zubasters. I am not so sure about this right here. But as long as they're new cards that we need, fair enough, man. Take my gems. Oh, wait a second. Is this something else here? I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, we got an adrenaline shot upgrade for Nico. You can't go wrong. And how much does it cost to play this again? Oh, that's a lot of gems. Okay, let's not do that, though. But let's do something like this, for example. 303 gems for a five-star card is good. Really good. So please, yes. Nice. Very, very useful. And does a card's star count... Like, really matter or something in terms of lore, like what lore it reveals. Like, from this image right here with Elaine, there's nothing particularly new to see. Like, yeah, meteors and stuff and fire all over the place, which is kind of reminiscent of Volcano Park, but nah, I'm not exactly sure. We gotta find out these, though. We gotta find out what's going on right here. You know what I'm saying? 
But until then, let's do something pretty cool. Let's go back to the store, first of all, and claim some things that we haven't claimed already, like Susie, for example. And wait a second, do we have a card pack? Oh, it's one with actual cash, like $5 for this. I don't think it's that good to spend actual money on these, though. It's not it. But you know what? It's going to be super, super cool. So we once did a video on Frank with his best items and everything. And that was a lot of fun right there. That was super, super cool. So why not do a challenge, right? And choose a random character with the wheel of characters. And then we're going to find out for that specific character what are the best items. So let's go to the wheel. And here it is. Let's hope we get a character with a lot of item slots. And what is happening here? There's so many of them, though. It's crazy. And we have Milo. Okay, all we have to do now is to find them and no don't freak out here Okay, I know it's a jarring task, but we'll get there eventually and there he is beautiful as ever And this is not Milo's color by any means, but it is a very cool skin So let's go on to the items here and yeah, we do have quite a lot of item slots here So we're chilling so the thing about this character though, which I really really like is when it comes to the items There's actually a bit of depth here that we're talking about. Okay, because this character is a sniper character Wow who knew? And if you have a sniper character, that means your items have to be tailored specifically for those abilities. You know, you gotta keep enemies far away from you. So that brings us on to our first item, and that is the helium canister, because it is used to knock enemies away from you, especially when you use the active and you're quote-unquote invincible and stuff. So it's very useful in that case, all right? You don't need holy sandals, by the way. Buy any D don't, don't do that, okay? I don't know how that got into our item setup. Probably for the video that we did for showcasing the most useless atom combos, but let's not do that ever again, alright? Don't, don't use Holy Sandals, he can, he can shoot when he's in water on his own, it's alright, he's very tall, okay? He has thick legs and stuff. Alright, let's go for, uh, is Wake Up Coffee gonna be a good option? Probably not. And uh, we do have quite a lot of items though. We're gonna keep Vampire Teeth because it's very, very good. And Jungle Shoes as well is useful because he can use it to get around easily. And also, just be better at dodging and stuff. Very useful. And he can also escape enemies way easier, which is another big bonus, you know. Because you don't want to be fighting melee characters close on, like Boost, for example, or Nico, Shelly. Actually, Shelly is a sniper character, never mind. Alright, we're also going to use the bandage instead of the happy treats because, you know, in an actual game, you're probably not going to use happy treats all that often. You're probably going to get more benefit overall by just having something like bandage or, in this case, vampire teeth as well. And so far, these are, in my opinion, at least the best items for him right now. But, of course, you guys can comment down below what you think, obviously. So, let's get into a game right here. We got solo full. You know what? Let's get a ton of kill. And here we are. This kid looks amazing. And I like the animations as well. Yeah. I love the Mancer skin so much. They're so well made. I like the idea behind them too. They're very creative as well. You don't really get to see stuff like this. You know, it's it's something. It's something to behold. All right, so let's use the helium canister. And since you have a uh, very long range, don't worry. You can still hit the character after knocking them back. It's all right. So, we got the... Whoa! Hold on a second. Level 18 Yara. You guys better calm down here. Okay. So I said that we're, that we're gonna get a lot of kills here, but I'm not so sure about that because Milo probably isn't the type of character that you're gonna get a whole ton of kills with, you know, because he's he's not your typical Henry or Steve assassin character that typically gets the spotlight in a lot of times and also gets the most kills and is kind of the most fun to play. He's not in that category, you know, he's kind of for the more patient players, you know, the sniper character, not a lot of them in the game, to be perfectly honest with you, and you know what, it's okay, you don't always have to play Henry, Steve, and, um, Nyx, Nyx, what's Nyx doing here? Nyx, you better get out of here, because you're gonna, get, you're gonna get absolutely obliterated here. So you don't necessarily have to play assassin characters all the time, okay? You can try something new every now and then, like Milo, for example. You know, get out of your comfort zone, because am I a pro with Milo? No! Definitely not, as you can see here. But, we're having fun anyways, using the best items that we could right now, okay? And, nope, that was clearly not it, but this is gonna be okay. Oh, come on, we need range. I guess we, I guess we need more range, who would've known for a sniper character? More range is necessary, but then again, you can't just have enough range in this game. You're always gonna need more range, to be honest. Alright, come on. You're not stealing that, by the way, buddy. I mean, that is a good weapon for Maxwell, because he can throw three bombs at a singular time, which is insane, by the way. And I know I'm not talking about the item that lets him throw three bombs at a singular time, no. Just by default, he can do that, and it's super cool. Alright, there you go, one more kill right there. Do kills really matter? In this specific case, no. But still, it is what it is. Wait a second, is there someone here? 
Is there an imposter among us? I shouldn't have said that. I should not have said that. Alright. Let's see how this goes here. Please, someone in the house. What's up? We in the house. Okay, well, let's grab the shield here because it's definitely going to help. Alright, there you go. And let's hope we don't run into some level 20 weirdo maniac here. That wouldn't be very funny. But you know what? You know what, guys? Let's go. Like, if a, if a level 20 weirdo shows up, I'm not going to be mad. It is what it is. Just for the sake of content. Having fun, I guess. Whatever. If we're rank 2, like number 2, it's okay. It is what it is. Oh, you thief! And it's also called the Thief Nick skin, I'm pretty sure. You better come back here. Come on, Nyx. Come on, come back. I need that shield. Oh, really? Should have should have taken it when we had the chance. Come on, how did you get it? How did you get decimated by that bomb? I don't understand. So peculiar. All right, I love the active in this case. And she did not drop a shield. Okay, fair enough. It's fine. And like that, we got uh, five kills right here. We could say that we got a few kills right here. Okay, it's it's more than I expected, to be perfectly honest, with our more or less bad aiming. All right, and there you go. Whoa, nice. Uh, I told you just just now about bad aim, and now we're actually kind of hitting shots, I guess, which is good. No, we missed. <laughs> it's kind of fun, though, trying to hit your shots perfectly in this game, because it is difficult since there are so many really fast characters in this game. All right, there you go. Oh, no, you're not doing that, buddy. You ain't doing that. No, 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 no. Never, never in a million years. All right, come on. This is it right here. This is it. You're slow. Slow and steady wins the race. I know, but not in this case. You're going to get obliterated right now. Come on. There you go. Easy wins. So that is seven kills, which is more than average. Way more than average, actually. So you can't go wrong with this stuff. Hey, wait a second. Hey, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Let's go to the, to the profile here for a second. How, what are our stats here? I just want to know. Favorite character, Jade? How does the game even decide that? I'm pretty sure it's just our most played character. I'm, I'm, my biggest guess is that. Longest win streak, 12. Total kills, 22,884,000. Matches won, 1,798. And the highest trophies are there as well. So, cool stuff right there, guys. Cool stuff. If you were curious about that, because I was curious as well. I don't really keep track of that. But it does exist, and it's cool to look at every now and then. Fellas, smash like and subscribe if you enjoyed this episode, because that was a lot of fun right there. And uh, if you have any more ideas like this with random characters and such, just comment down below and I got you. I'll see you in the next episode, and bye bye Zoopster!